Hi everyone again. In this video, we are going to cover day three topics which we are going to cover in Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training. If you have landed directly on day three, I suggest you go back and have a look at what topics we cover on day one and day two of Oracle Fusion Middleware Training. So the topic we cover on day three is Oracle HTTP server, which is also a web server from Oracle, which is built on Apache. In most of Oracle Fusion Middleware enterprise deployments, you would see Oracle HTTP server. So Oracle HTTP server is mainly deployed on the DMZ servers acts as a reverse proxy. We are going to discuss various OHS deployments in Fusion Middleware, where the Oracle HTTP server gets deployed, how you deploy in high availability, what are the options for disaster recovery. We are also going to cover OHS file system. So when you install Oracle HTTP server and when you configure Oracle HTTP server, it creates a system component which we discussed on day one. Uh, so we are going to discuss Oracle Home, Oracle Instance Directory, and other important files. We're also going to look at Oracle HTTP server log files, configuration files, which are important if you're troubleshooting Oracle HTTP server. We're going to discuss how you deploy Oracle HTTP server in a highly available active active cluster scenarios. Then we are going to install and configure Oracle HTTP server version as of August 2015. We are going to use is Oracle HTTP server 11G 11.1.1.9. So the trainees will install Oracle HTTP server on our, on our machines remotely. And they will also configure the instance of Oracle HTTP server. Another important thing which in most of the enterprise deployments happen is you deploy Oracle HTTP server in acting as a reverse proxy which forward request to the backend application server which is WebLogic server. So what that integration means, why we integrate Oracle HTTP server with WebLogic server, what is mod WL OHS, all those things which we are going to cover in our day three of Oracle Fusion Middleware Training. We're also going to do a hands-on on configuring Oracle HTTP server as a re reverse proxy in front of WebLogic server. So my WebLogic console, like forward slash console, or any other application that we deploy on WebLogic server, we can access it through HTTP server. We are going to see that by doing hands-on on day three of Fusion Middleware training. So just to recap what we are going to cover on day three, we are going to cover Oracle HTTP server overview, the deployment of OHS, file system, Oracle home, instance, middleware home, all those import an important file for Oracle HTTP server. We are going to demonstrate how to deploy Oracle HTTP server in a highly available environment. We'll do a hands-on where we'll install Oracle HTTP server and configure it on our servers remotely. And we'll finally do integration of Oracle HTTP server with WebLogic using mod WL OHS. Thank you. Thank you.